Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 75 of Europa Universalis 4. The war is still going fairly strong and um, going to be at a point soon where we can pretty much take most of Britain for ourselves. We need to get Link uh, Lancashire to complete our mission. We also want to try and get London as well. Um, I would have liked to have got some of the other places but I'm not too bothered about that right now. I think what I'm going to try and do actually is separate peace out with England. We've got their capital. What I'd like to take from them is their capital. They won't give me their capital. It's worth too much for them. It is too valuable. So we shall carry on and continue to siege out bits of Great Britain. However, the main part of the war is going on over here. Now, I'm cur I currently have a uh, big stack in, um, in Vienna trying to siege that out. Uh, I do have some units over here. Though this arm is looking a little bit battered and bruised at the moment. Going to go ahead and take off. Or you don't have forced march on. Um, would be nice to maybe get some mercenaries or some more troops. What do we like on force limit? We're actually over our force limit. We should probably do a consolidate somewhere. But we are reinforcing. So let's just go ahead and uh, unpause. It looks like the Brandenburgian army may be chasing those guys down. Do have to keep her eye on some of these units that are around. There are some stacks here that look like they're getting quite big. I'm going to pull these guys back and actually try and get them to join up on those guys there. Just so we've got a little bit of a defensive stack if we need it. Once we've sieged out Vienna, I'll bring the rest of those guys back and they can help out. We're still good on manpower. Yeah, uh, this is exactly what I thought was going to happen. They're going to try and uh, and move in on this uh, this stack here. Admittedly, we're not all that far through the siege. I could stop and put force march on, but they were at um, they weren't at full morale when they arrived here anyway, and they've got the penalty. Brandenburg managed to jump in and catch those guys before they got anywhere, so we should win this one fine. They've got the terrain penalty and they've got the river crossing penalty. I think we will be good there. And then we'll have to play a little bit more defensively, I think. Just We still need to do a fair bit of sieging, but I think we need to be careful with our units. So we're good there. Let's just go ahead, group all of those guys together. We're just going to detach the mercenaries and select the mercenaries, and we'll consolidate the mercs. Because consolidating the mercs means that we basically have to pay less to reinforce them. So it makes a little bit more sense to do it that way. And it will bring us down under our force limit. Well, it won't bring us down under our force limit, but it will help. Uh, no mercs in this group, so those guys can just sit there. It looks like most of the really big stacks have been dealt with. Um, I'm guessing we still can't get... Oh, we could actually call the Commonwealth in. Um, let's call them in. Let's, let's make this decisive. There's absolutely no reason why the Commonwealth shouldn't get involved. They are our ally. Um, you guys can just carry on going around and we'll we'll stomp a few little stacks here and there and we'll just start sieging our way north and stop them from being able to spawn more units it'll all be good we should be fine uh, again just keeping my eye on what's happening here with some of these little uh, stacks as milanese army seems to be regaining some momentum down there in the south so we definitely need to keep our eye on that um, Commonwealth look like they are coming in my direction which is good Austria seems to have pieced out with uh, Hungary now Hungary is definitely shrinking here. Um, Bavaria has announced me as a new rival. That's absolutely fine. 14% and we'll have the Siege of Vienna won. We'll keep these guys here until this siege is won. So we're definitely winning some sieges here, which is very, very good for us. Brandenburg killing a few more small stacks. I'm quite happy. What about ideas? What idea can we invest in? It's going to be a... Uh, military idea and we can get land force limit modifier plus 20% that's actually going to be very good because currently we're at 166 of 151 which is costing us money but if we go ahead and take this now it should put us up to 182 so now we are actually below our uh, force limit so we can actually grab some more men and it's probably not such a bad idea to do so in fact so much it's not a bad idea to do so. I am going to build my sort of standard 20. Build them over here so it's nice and far away from the front line. Cost us a little bit of money. But that will give us a nice big stack. And we can start replacing some of the mercenaries as well. Because the mercenaries cost us quite a lot to run. So my goal for this is to actually... We've already managed to take... Um, 
We've already, already managed... Oh, we've won a, the Siege of Vienna. Brilliant. Uh, we've already managed to take uh, Frankfurt. And we've pieced them out individually because they only had the, uh, the one single province. Uh, let's go down here and say hi to Milan. Um... I want to take Metz because Metz is the war goal. I'd also like to take London from Great Britain and um, Lancashire because we have the mission uh, to take Lancashire. Anything more than that? I mean, we're already... The chances are we're already going to have a massive coalition against us anyway. But um, we're just going to take what we need to take. Obviously, we need to get a lot more war score against Great Britain before we can take London because they just consider it to be too valuable of a province, which is understandable. Um, you guys aren't really doing anything right now. I know I just had you going around um, sort of stomping stacks, which I kind of still want you to do. So you're going to go ahead and deal with those guys, and then you're going to come back and siege out Norfolk. Um, let's just click off that because I'm not really bothered about the battle. So, we've got some guys coming in around here. I, I don't want them to uh, unsiege Vienna. If we see them unsieging Vienna, we can always go back and attack them. It is on farmland anyway, so it's uh, not like there'll be too much of a penalty for attacking in there. And we'll just keep using these, oh, I say little stacks. I mean, that's quite a big stack there. It's getting some heavy attrition, but at least it's safe. It's very, very unlikely that it's going to get jumped on by anything. Um, are we going to catch these guys in Tyrol? We have, actually, and Brandenburg and Portugal could come in and uh, reinforce. Um... We could just sit here in Tyrol, actually, just sit in the mountains and uh, and loot that because it's worth quite a lot because it has a it has the mine in there, has the gold mine, so it's worth quite a bit usually. So that is all good stuff. How are things going over here? Right, you've arrived there. Obviously, I don't want to keep breaking these sieges just to go and kill little stacks that England have, but uh, I don't think they have an awful lot left to be honest. Let's have a look at Great Britain. Let's see what everybody's down to at the moment. Great Britain, you have uh, a thousand infantry, uh, three lots of mercenaries. You have no manpower at all. You are screwed. Um, Austria, what's things looking like for Austria? You have 6k men, most of which are mercenaries. You have no manpower in the bank. So we're really good at the moment because we are not losing money and we have a decent amount of manpower. So it's very, very unlikely that the people we're at war against are going to be able to mount any sort of a reasonable defense now. Was a little bit silly taking this engagement in the mountains. We will win though. I think what I want these guys to do as well is stay in here. I don't want them to move out of this. Uh... Or do we want to chase down? Which is the other op uh, the other option. I suppose a lot of it depends on which direction this army runs in. And um, they are running south. So I guess we could go and chase them down. See where they end up. See if we can get a stack wipe on them. We're fairly safe up here. Not too sure how far south they're going to head. Would have been nice to siege out uh, Tyrol. But it's not terribly important. So we'll just keep following these guys down. See if we can go and stack wipe them. Actually, looks like they might be coming this way. I don't know where they're actually heading. Who's involved in this war? Right, ro they're probably going Rome, because Rome's about the farthest they can actually get. So if we go that way, we should catch them without too many issues. Uh, there are still a few units and stacks of units roaming around. I don't think anything over here is of concern anymore. Um, that is not a um, defeated stack. That's quite a healthy stack. But we're not forced marching, so we're not using... We are still uh, reinforcing. And uh, even if we have to... Yeah, they've still got no morale. They're not white flagged anymore, but they are still quite weak. So we'll jump on them. We've actually stack wiped them, and then we're going to go in and stack wipe those guys. And then we're going to head back and stack wipe those guys. And we'll uh, gain one stability. We're already at three. Or gain prestige and diplo. We'll do the prestige and diplo then. And then you can come back and get yourself back into Tyrol. Everything up here is safe. Let's go and have a look over here. Not an awful lot going on. There's a few attempted de sieges, but that's not going to be an issue. One thing I haven't had a look at for a while is over here. Look at this. Um, French Canada has taken a hell of a lot of Newfoundland here. Don't suppose we could piece them out separately because in order to piece out Newfoundland, yeah, we can't piece them out separately because they're a vassal of... Uh, Great Britain. So maybe if we piece out Great Britain, we can take some of this and give it to French Canada and Nouvelle Flandre. It'd be nice to do that. Got to be careful because the issue we've got is they've already got some liberty desire. Obviously, they'll like us a bit if we give them some provinces, but my main concern here is trying to get London and Lancashire. So we're going to try and get a 100% siege on Great Britain if we can. 
In fact, I actually think we can go ahead and start carpet sieging here. So let's go and do that. Peace offer from Sax Luxembourg or Lewenberg. We'll go and have a look at that one very shortly. So let's just go ahead and do that. You should get there fine. That's fine. You move over here. When you get there, you can detach, detach a siege. So most of the sieges seem to be going quite well. Okay, detach a siege and then the rest of you can move over there. Alright, let's just pause up and just have a look at things over here. We've won that siege. Let's go and clear those guys out and then we'll move down here. So we've still got a few units around, but most of them we're just rolling over and killing quite easily. Right, let's have a look at um, Sax Lewenberg. There wasn't anything from you that I particularly wanted. Got 31% war score against you. Um, you're these guys up here, aren't you? Do I want anything from you? Not really. So let's go ahead and get war reps from you. And as much money as you can give me and annul your treaties with Austria. No, you won't do it. Wow, okay. Okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll take that. Get some money. It's one less person fighting against us in the war. So we don't get any aggressive expansion for that either. So we'll continue to just go around and blanket siege over here. Try and get this bit done as quick as possible we're going to get some really derpy army compositions but at least it does stop great britain spawning anywhere down here they can only really come from the north now which is going to make them a little bit easier to deal with still sieging out quite a bit of austria we'll get as much of it as we can obviously we don't want to take too much even though my aim for this well uh, my aim for what's left of this series is to try and uh, take out the HRE if possible but we've got to be careful we don't want to take too much of it at a time our manpower is quite low now um, how are things going with our Liberty Desire? Nouvelle Flandre's got a bit, but I think generally we are going to be okay. We could go and suck up to them, actually, because our diplomats aren't really doing an awful lot. Um, so let's keep doing that. Let's go over to uh, Nouvelle Flandre, Diplomacy, um, Relation Actions, Improve Relations. Should probably be doing the same with French Canada as well, because they only have, like, plus three for us. But we'll take as much stuff uh, from... Newfoundland as possible uh, and give it to those colonial nations. It will make them more powerful um, but the main reason why they have a lot of liberty desire uh, that should be a number of reasons if we have a look um, mostly because of our war exhaustion. Uh, their power relative to us because obviously we're losing quite a few troops uh, and opinion as well so um, what we really should do is reduce our war exhaustion, which is something that I haven't done for a little, uh, a little while. So let's go in. We'll reduce that. We'll spend some diplo. Um, I'm not going to drop it down again. We'll wait until we've actually got closer to two. Makes it it'll, a little bit more sensible. I guess we could go and raise war taxes. We don't really need the money. And I don't really have the military power to spend either. So I don't think I will on second thought. I don't think this war is going to last too much longer. Um, I probably already have enough to take from Austria what I want to take from Austria. But I want to try and get as much from Britain as possible. This was a little bit of a cheeky war because I was actually in a truce with Britain, but by starting a war that, with someone they were allied with, they instantly jumped back into a war with me even though we had a truce. So it g gave me a great opportunity to be able to go and attack them again, which is really good. So these sieges are going quite well. I'm going to go up to speed two now. I don't usually like playing on faster speeds, especially when uh, there are a lot of big stacks roaming around, but I think we've dealt with most of the big stacks, and as we've already established, most of our uh, enemies don't actually have any... Um, uh, most of our enemies don't have any manpower left, so there's not really an awful lot they can do. So we'll just continue to try and siege out Britain. We have got a few extra boats and stuff from um, so like battles we've won and people that we've vassalized and stuff like that. So Great Britain does kind of have a fleet, but it's kind of getting screwed a little bit by my uh, trade fleets that are... Um, right, you, you decided to come out and attack the trade fleet. Well, that was brave or stupid, one or the other. So we'll soon have Norfolk... Um, then we'll probably get Gloucestershire, that's not too far behind. Uh, Cumbria's not too far behind either. 
Gonna have to do a lot of sorting out with uh, stacks as well. Looks like Brandenburg is still doing an absolutely fantastic job. We're happy about that. What's our relationship like with the Commonwealth? Um, improve relations 31. Let's go and work on improving our relations with the Commonwealth. Siege of Gloucestershire is over. Fantastic. So, and we've got Yorkshire as well. So, you guys, I guess, can just move up. That's only a four stack. It's a little bit dangerous. In fact, you wait there. You guys all get into that one spot and merge. And then we will start the march north. We do have a bit of money. We're not actually losing money. So we could go ahead and uh, and build some buildings. Uh, we could definitely go ahead and grab ourselves... We should really get more um, ramparts and stuff like that for better supply limit. But I'm really interested in just making sure we've got things like armories, training fields and barracks everywhere. Try and get as many extra men as possible. So there's an extra 51 there. Of course, this is spending a bit of military power, but... It's not going to be too bad. Do I want to get any more? Obviously, you've got to be careful because some places have high local autonomy, which means that you won't get the full amount of manpower from them. But I think we'll be good there. It looks like they are trying to group up some type of army, but I just don't think that they've got enough to do it. Uh, it does look like Russia is actually um, invading the Commonwealth a little bit here, which is a little bit of a pain. We're not going to be able to get Russia out of this war, I don't think. No, we've got, because we've got no war score at all against Russia. Uh, it's, I don't know if Russia will make it this far over, because I don't know if Russia have any interest uh, in our lands, because we're, we're a little bit too far away, a little bit too far away from Russia to be relevant, I think. Okay, we've got a lot of um, units down here. We'll try and jump on them if we can. So we'll move you in. And then you're going to move in that way. And then they shouldn't really be able to escape. We don't have a leader here. And uh, they do. And of course we do have a crossing penalty. But we, sh we should have uh, superior stats. We've got um, the same discipline. We've got higher base morale. We've got the same tactics. We should win that fight. We'll take some losses. But overall I think it will be good. And of course, England can't really reinforce. So even if even if we don't manage to kill them, um, they just take heavy losses on their manpower and can't reinforce. So we'll chase them down. Looks like they're just going to Aberdeen, so that shouldn't be too much of a problem. What have we got going on over here? Oh, there, there was a big stack uh, roaming around, but it looks like um, looks like the Commonwealth jumped on them. Okay, Russia is starting to work its way in. Now, where are you? Are you moving into Tyrrell? That was interesting there. Ah, they're, they're, they're um, white flagged. They've actually been defeated. I was just going to say, that's a little bit strange that they're going to move into Tyrrell when I've got a uh, 82 stack in there. Obviously, that's not helping my attrition. We're going to have to move out of there very, very shortly. And in fact, so much so, I'm actually just going to detach a siege and uh, move the main army down here. And see if we can crush that Russian stack. We're almost out of manpower. Which is a real rarity as France. But um, we'll do what we can. We'll go and see if we can um, get rid of that big Russian stack. And that'll give us more possibility of being able to peace out with Russia later on. Uh, looks like the Commonwealth is still clearing up a few little stacks and things that are around. You guys are wiped out. I'm just going to keep you guys um, here. Because that way you can go and uh, jump into Tyrol if you need to. And we shouldn't lose quite as much manpower that way. Because our manpower is... Um, our manpower, we're burning through it at the moment. We are going to be out of manpower very, very soon. So let's just go and make sure that we've got all of you guys sieging where you can. Uh, let's have another look at Great Britain. See if we can actually sue for peace and get what we want, especially as we've just taken Northumberland. I'm just going to unpause for one second just to make sure that that ticks through because sometimes it doesn't always count when it should. So let's go to Great Britain. Sue for peace. What we would like from you is still won't even give me London. Wow. Apparently, I only have a 54% uh, war score uh, with England.
Demands at seed, war score, length of war, ally in war, current peace offer. Well, it looks like we'll have to keep it going for a little bit longer. And keep my eye on my manpower. Is there anybody else in this war that we could separate peace out? It's amazing that Great Britain have got low war enthusiasm, but they still won't give up London. London's not even their capital anymore. Don't think there's anyone else that we can get out of here on their own. Are they going to try and unsiege Vienna? Doesn't look like they are. We keep moving units through. Yeah, we're losing a lot of manpower. Which means soon we won't be able to reinforce, and that's going to be problematic. So if they move anyone into Tyrrell, I can reinforce from here quite quickly. Wow, I actually lost a battle there. I didn't even see where it was. Maybe it was up here somewhere. Yeah, it was actually up here. I think I just moved up a big uh, big stack and didn't realise that England actually had some, uh, or Great Britain actually had a stack of units up there. Oh, well, it was only a, sing a single uh, single hit. Won't be, won't be the end of the world there. Oh, they've got a 14 stack. Wow. Okay, Britain, I am impressed. I'm surprised we only have a 54% uh, war score against Britain. Uh, given the fact that um, we do seem to have sieged out most of their provinces. Guess what we could do as well is take these heavies and move them up here. This would give us a little bit more war score and it would make it a lot easier to uh, siege these provinces out. But so low on manpower now. We're really going to have to let that recharge before we get involved in anything else. Well, we took them out, but we didn't manage to get a, uh, a stack wipe. Let's just group you guys up. We'll move you there. We will detach a siege. We'll go and chase those guys down, naturally. I'd sooner have them killed. Let's make sure we keep our eye on whatever's going on over there. Where did you guys come from? You can, you can go and stat wipe those guys then, I suppose. Okay, how are things doing? Nobody is attacking Tyrrell. That's good. If I run completely out of manpower, which is likely to happen at some point, uh, you're not taking attrition, so you guys are fine. These guys are taking attrition. Um, well, you guys are still getting attrition there, aren't you? Because you're in two different provinces, which I guess makes sense. Let's move half of you out then. It's my own stupid fault, just standing all of my men in one spot and just taking massive attrition. Um, right. Looks like they are trying to de-siege um, Vienna. Although it's quite possible that um, Brandenburg may go and throw down there. Oh, they've actually broke their siege. Well, that was clever of them. I think we'll be alright. Ah, we've got this 20 stack here. I forgot about these guys. Let's move you forwards. We're still getting attrition here and here. That's fine. Let's um, let's start splitting some of these units down just to try and reduce the attrition because we've got no manpower at all now. We've completely run out of manpower. Can we win a fight against you guys? You're not at full morale. You are in the Highlands and you have a leader and you have superior numbers. But you're only on half morale to start with, and you guys can go in and help as well, I suppose. So, you guys detach a siege and move forward. It is winter up here as well, so... We are going to have some problems. But the war's not doing too bad. I mean, we are winning overall. We're going to have most of Britain sieged out. A little bit light on troops. I'm going to chase them down. There's not really very far they can go. And then we'll split up. We'll blanket siege what they've got left. It probably won't be enough to siege out everything, but it will be enough to stop them from uh, spawning any more troops. So that should be a battle won. Though saying that, the fact that we got the river crossing penalty and the terrain penalty and we had no leader. We actually just lost a battle somewhere and I didn't see where that was. It wasn't that one anyway. 
So what battle did I just lose? Oh, it was actually Tyrrell. Wow. I wasn't keeping my eye on things over there. That was really bad. Can I take from Great Britain London yet? All I want from them is London, really. Well, it's not. I want from them London and I want from them Lancashire. And I'd need 93% war score. It's not going great. What war score do I have against Austria? Probably not all that much. If I asked Austria to give me London, yeah, even Austria wouldn't give me London. So we do still need to try and piece Britain out separately. But that's something I think we are going to have to do in another video. We'll have to go and uh, wipe these guys out in Tyrrell and uh, see what we're going to do about our manpower. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying Europa Universalis 4, and I'll see you next time. So until then, goodbye for now.